Strap on those tinfoil hats, because scientists have learned how to read minds. Mind reading. Once only an ability seen in comic books and movies might actually be a reality thanks to a group of researchers from Radboud University, Nijmegen in the Netherlands. What they've done is used an MRI scanner to split up a test subject's visual cortex into 1,200 individual cubic sections called voxels. Then the scientist would put the subject into the MRI machine and show them a series of handwritten letters of the alphabet. Once the letters were shown, the voxels would display a particular pattern which could then be combined to create an image of what the letter looked like. Only problem is, the images were blurry, so scientists used a mathematical model which would manipulate the MRI results to create shapes and letters our brains would recognize. And while you might think manipulating results to match your hypothesis is more science fiction than science fact, the mathematical model used to manipulate the MRI results works in a similar fashion to how humans recognize things from their past. In other words, they had to cheat in order to read the results correctly because humans don't recognize patterns the same way a computer does. Now, the researchers are planning on using a more powerful MRI to scan 15,000 voxels at once, and instead of using letters for recognition, they're gonna use faces. Could we be a few years away from having the ability to print a picture of someone's face from memory? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I just hope the brain recognizes me the same way I see myself as a disgusting man troll. Give me a finger nails. Stay off my bridge. Oh my God. Those goats, those billy goats are always messing up my bridge. There's also a guy who comes on my bridge and he's like, hey, can I cross? And I'm like, not if unless you answer these riddles three. And I show him a bunch of shapes. And when I show him the, the circle, he goes, that's a cookie, and then he eats it. <sighs> I really like that circle drawing.